Hi guys, today's review is Sempurna, Sempurna Mild A Cigarettes from Indonesia. Big thank you goes to Parky for sending me these. He got them from Siggy's World, a 100% reliable company, and I cannot rate them enough. If you haven't ordered from Siggy's World, they sell individual packs of Indonesian and international brands, and links down in the description. Now, as you see, a tiny health warning down there in Indonesian, which I can't read, and you get 16 in a pack, and they cost around about, if you're local in Indonesia, 12,000 Indonesian, whatever they're called, which is roughly 80 pence. If you want to import them into the UK, they're a bit dearer. First of all, they smell gorgeous. A lovely hint of cloves, not overpowering, and on the back of the packet, saying Supruna A Miles is a balanced blend of costly Java aromatic American and other high quality tobaccos, distinctive flavour, taste, and aroma comes from the addition of fine natural cloves. This quality cigarette is brought to you with pride and an uncompromising dedication from the house of San Primo. Let's get this up. It's all white and gossip feels for Now, lung damage. In Indonesia, their cigarettes are a lot stronger than us in Europe. They range uh, like a Jorum Black, comes in around about 24 milligrams a tar. A soup de Jorum Super is about 30 milligrams. And our real strong ones are around about 39 milligrams a tar and 2.4 milligrams of nicotine. This, however, is more like a European cigarette or American one. 40 milligrams tar, one milligram of nicotine. You might hear the clothes crackling. It's got quality tobacco in it. Nice mix of cloves in it, not overpowering, but it enhances the taste. And it's one of my best Indonesian cigarettes. And if I lived there, I'd smoke these every day as I couldn't cope with the extra strong ones only occasionally. Now this clip's gonna dissolve and I'll tell you a little bit about the company. Okay guys. Suprina is now owned by Philip Morris, but it started back in 1913 and the most popular brand is these. It is the largest cigarette company in Indonesia. And in 2006 had 29.55 trillion rupee, that's their local currency, which is roughly 3.2 million dollars, it's billion dollars, in exchange rate. It introduced the mild ones back in 1968 and the other key brand is Gijam So 234, an unfiltered cigarette with 39 milligrams of time. Gijam So 234 is a premium cigarette in Indonesia. Its retail price 
is per pack is the same as Marlboro Reds over there. The difference is you only get 12 of Shi Jam Sos, 2, 3, 4, compared with 20 Marlboro Reds. The company is named after some Pramana family who founded it back in 1913 as, by Liam Singh T, a Chinese Indonesian who might immigrated to Indonesia from China. And full details is in the link to Wikipedia down there. In Indonesia, they produce a Kritik, a Haja, a Mold, a Revolution, a International, a King, a Flavour, Samprina Extra, Samprina Dark Classic, Samprina Critic, Samprina Exclusive, Panama's One, Kratan de Lane, Vegas Mold. They also do BH. Jujamso 234, L&M's, Long Beach, Course Marlborough, U Mild, Essie, which is a really weak Indonesian cigarette. I did do a review about them. I think it's had about 3 milligrams of tar. Raisin, the one, Indigo, Arang, this, Timeless Time and Zest. All the links is down below. Getting back to the cigarette. Very really smokeful. It's not harsh. Nice amount of cloves in there, as I said, and a good burn time. Overall marking, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. And thanks, Parky, for sending me these. And don't forget, guys, check out Siggy's Wells. The link's down there. Also in the description is links to the guides to my videos, which I've made. And thanks for watching. So, Prina, a mild 10 out of 10. Stay lit and thanks for subscribing, personal messaging, commenting and rating my videos. Stay lit.